Women are typically the caretakers, and with that, sometimes we neglect our own health. So joining us today is Dr. Sharon Thompson to give us more information about what it means to be a healthy woman. Welcome, doctor. Thank you so much for having me. First off, what does it mean to be a healthy woman? Well, I think that's hard for most women to even get a handle on because as you said, women are so used to putting themselves last that sometimes it's a big aha moment to even talk about putting themselves first. But I think for most people to be a healthy person, you want to look at what you're eating, the activity that you're doing every day, and importantly, super neglected is your mental health. So doctor, tell us what are the three top tests that all women should have? Women, I have to say, I have to give them credit, are very good at going into the doctor every year. So most women are familiar with getting their pap test, and you don't need it every year actually, but you should follow up with your physician and follow your physician's advice on when you need your pap test. Another uh, test that most women need routinely is a look at your blood test. So what's your blood glucose? What's your cholesterol? You should have a good idea of those, not just when they become problems, but so that you can intervene if there's something that needs to be addressed. For younger women, so if you're in your 20s and 30s, so STD testing is pretty important, right? Because women in that age group are more sexually active, they haven't settled down yet, so that becomes very important. Part of being an adult, I tell my patients, is being responsible enough to find out. Now, doctor, what numbers do women specifically need to be aware of when it comes to their health and testing? That's an outstanding question, and, and I would say especially for women. Because one of the things that most women don't understand or don't, haven't been told is that pregnancy impacts your future health. So for women, especially if you've had complications in your pregnancy, there are some extra things that you should know. So all of us should know what our blood pressure is. But if you've had preeclampsia or blood pressure issues during your pregnancy, it's even more important for you to know that every single year. If you've had, all of us should know what our blood sugar is. But if you've had diabetes during your pregnancy, again, you should have a test for diabetes every single year. Those things also mean that a woman should have a cardiologist who's her friend, because women who've had those problems during pregnancy have a higher rate of heart disease later on in life. We should all also know our cholesterol numbers. And you may have heard um, someone talk about uh, bad cholesterol, your LDL cholesterol, versus good cholesterol, your HDL cholesterol. Those are important. Women tend to have a pretty good HDL, but you want to know what your number is because HDL, that good cholesterol, is the one that can keep you healthy. So those are some important numbers to know your blood sugar, your blood pressure, and your cholesterol, your HDL number. Doctor, self-care is a very important topic. What are some things that women can do to practice regular self-care? Absolutely, uh, such an important topic. And like I said earlier, most women are so used to doing for their kids and their husbands and their employers and their employees and they always put themselves very, at the very back of the line in terms of care. So I try to encourage women to move themselves up on that priority list. So the first thing is thinking about how much time every day do you spend thinking about you? Whether that is what you're going to eat, whether that is getting outside and getting some fresh air and taking a walk, or it's getting away from your desk for a few minutes a day, where do you put yourself on that priority list? How many minutes do you give yourself every day? That, that doesn't require a lot, right? It doesn't require a lot of changes, but even asking that one question raises the flag for many women and where they put themselves on the priority list and they start to make changes. So doctor, any final tips or advice on being a healthy woman? Remember that your doctor doesn't keep you healthy. You are in charge of keeping you healthy. The decisions you make every day are the ones that will support your baseline health. So you are the most important factor in maintaining your health. You have the power, it's really in your hands. Absolutely, well thank you so much for being here with us thank today, doctor. Thank you for having doctor. me. What an important topic to talk about.